Shireen Ranchod and I am the HR manager for the Mount Roscoe by-election. The management team is made up of the returning officer who has an operations manager and an HR manager working with them for the particular electorate. So you initially come on at part-time hours, it builds up to being full-time around and just after the election day and then it tails off again until you pack up and finish. My name is Chin Tang. I met the operations managers in 2011 and 2014. I'm uh, Angelica Vargas. I worked the 2014 election, general elections as the ops manager for the Manurewa electorate. The ops manager really is like a quartermaster, putting logistics into place, getting papers ready, getting places ready in a systematic way. As a youngster, my parents held a voting place in their basement and I never really knew that was going to be the start of my journey into the Electoral Commission. So initially you are hiring a whole lot of people, interviewing, selection, training, looking after the staff, their timesheets and their payroll and contracts and then helping with post-election work. I'm a civil engineer by profession. I came here in 2002 in my home country and that's Malaysia. I originally came from the Philippines. I was a full-time mom for a few years and then I decided to go for the ops manager position. If you look at the job description, at first I thought, ah, oh, this is going to be hard. For somebody who is new to the system, I may be apprehensive, intimidated by the long list. Well, on closer examination, I said if I could handle all the previous jobs that I've done before, there's no reason why I can't handle this. I've worked four elections already. I keep coming back because it's a very supportive environment. The Electoral Commission train you. There is a very, very elaborate and thorough operations manual and many senior managers in the electorate headquarters to help you. Being part of the electoral process, it helped a lot in making me feel like it's, I'm part of the community. It's time to see some new faces coming through to encourage and engage their respective communities to come forward. I don't see my ethnicity or my gender as being something that should hold me back from doing that. You know, it's a really great role. It's somewhat autonomous. You have to have faith in your decision-making skills. You must be able to manage people during election day. It's really hectic. You have to be organized. I guess you really have to care about people. At the end of the day, you're doing what you're doing for the people. You know what I like about this? My involvement in the Electoral Commission? I'm able to talk to friends and truly, truly tell them what democracy is all about.